All right, we are on step three, actually. First step was that weight box, wherever that guy went, and the trucks. Now we're starting with this part where we are assembling the ch ch chassis assembly. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky because you gotta keep it square. And these parts, they fit really good, but trimming them from the sprue I use a 17 blade because if I use my flush cutter, there's just not enough room and you risk bending or breaking a piece. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this little guy here to the side. But I want to look him over. I know how he goes on there. I want to look at... I want to look for these rivets. See those rivets? They face out so that they end up like that. This is the easy part. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take super glue over here, put it on this spot on the paper towel. And I've got baking soda on that towel should I need it for some reason. Hopefully I don't. And then I'm going to take a little bit on the end of my blade here. And we don't need much. And so I'm just going to dab some on and then maybe wipe it down here like that. Not too much. I don't need that much. This guy, unfortunately, has nice guides on it. And I can just press them together with the rivets facing out. So this is the back side. And let's go ahead. Oof, that one. And hold him right there. And that should leave us with like no glue showing. <laughs> if there is glue showing, what's the emergency procedure? Right over to the air compressor and blow it, blow it away. Okay. So now I've already done this part. And what I did was I put the end on first. But now that I've got an end on there, this guy has to get squared. And so this beam fits inside. It fits inside here. And he's got a little spot here that he fits in. He fits inside here. And then this guy goes on the end. And what we want to do is prepared to square it. So that's what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a tiny couple dots of super glue where I need it and tack him in place. And if I'm satisfied that he's square, then I'm going to go ahead and I'll run a bead around and then I'll use the air compressor to force it in and by capillary action, we'll have a good join and that will give us uh, a nice clean join with no blue spots. So let me go ahead and do that. So remember, I'm going to just tack a few places. If it's good, I'll, I'll I will add add some more glue in places. Use air compressor, and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, on this part three, now I've got this together. These guys, I did not glue them in. Uh, they're just press fit in there, but they are glued together. If you've done the sides and the ends right, they fit in there a little tight and they maybe warped it a little bit. And when you glue where the, the uh, points where you're going to mount trucks should straighten out and it should look like this. Now here's another tricky part of this is so when I did this, I looked at the instructions and I thought, this is what you did first. It says put sides on first. I understand why, after I put the second side on, then put the end on, that the ends go on way easier when the sides are on there. And it does say, if the ends are not flush here to, to uh, file them, I use a sanding sponge to get, to get them to line up nice and flat, and that worked fine. 
Now, looking down here, so I did this part, and this, the mounting point is glued to these two pieces that go across, and they fit in these little notches. I have not glued them into place, and I should be able to just tack them when it's time. It's not time right now. I'm going to save that for a little bit. When you look at this piece here, it looks like this. So it looks like this on one side and like that on the other. When I did it first, I did it wrong, and I glued the wrong pieces. I glued two of the same things together. There are two different pieces here. And if you do it wrong, it won't fit. So make sure you're looking at that. And it does say cement A7 to A8 and make two, which I do have now. I didn't, I'm not to the part where it says to uh, glue them into place yet. And I'm about to come up on the coupler pockets and then this business right here. This is going to be a tricky one because these parts are very small. Now, one of the parts is this top B13. B13 is in a whole different bag. It happens to be along with the coupler pockets. As we can see here, there's B13. I looked and looked everywhere for that one. I found it. It's in a different bag. It's on. The, it's in the bag that has these, has these uh, grab irons. And some of the grab irons, this kit's kind of old. Some of the grab irons have fallen apart. And I don't know if I can remove these without them just crumbling. I may take the advice I found in a forum somewhere to replace them with wire. Uh, so I did read something where a guy said, after the fact, he wished he had done wire instead of these guys. I think we might take that advice. And so I'm going to build this next part and put it in you got these two guys here and they fit down into here well, whichever way they fit perfectly a certain way okay you can't put them in backwards because they don't they don't fit right put them in the right way they fit perfect so that's where we're at for there and so let me continue on and make these little assemblies and then we'll see what happens. All right, now I want to bring your attention to this assembly right here. Okay, when you take these parts out of the sprue, uh, let's get a pointer, I need a pointer. Okay, um, this guy, B6 right there is actually directional. So you've got to have them oriented correctly, and if, when you get them together, then they look like this. And how do you know they're directional? Because, if I can pick one up, if he's all set up, that little notch on the bottom, all right, I don't know where I, oh yeah, right there. Can you see that little notch? That goes all the way to the bottom when this thing is together. And the way I did that, well, first I just checked them and test fit them. Okay, then what I did was I, I wiped a little bit of my super glue from my paper towel there on this piece and I stood it up against the one, two, three block. And then I just slid in the bottom part, just like that. I just slid them in there. Okay, now this funny thing is you can see when we do this, uh, what, we're so close, I can't even, where's, where's my guy? Uh -huh. And there he is. You can see the glue there. Is that glue? Yep, see glue. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to use my sanding sponge on that once I get it put together. The rest of the way, which is like this. So don't get them mixed up. Because there's a top piece that looks just like, just like that right there. There's the two top pieces and let's, let's zoom in so you can actually see. See, they've got the notch there and that, that edge on them. 
is going to fit down onto our assembly. This little notch is going to fit down to our, onto our assembly very carefully. He's going to fit right perfectly flush like that. He's going to fit like that. Okay. And then we got those other two support beams in there. But I want you to pay special attention when you're lining up pieces to do that guy right there. The pieces are directional. So let's remember that. All right, I'm going to continue building them. Okay, let's talk more about the assemblies. And I'm on the step right now, still back in here. Step three. Okay. So let's take a look at a, a, a couple things. One, this is the coupler box assembly, which, which I'm at the point where you're supposed to put that in, and I did. But as you can see, before I did that, I coated it in graphite because I'm going to be using whisker couplers, and I coated them in graphite. And then I shined them up with my makeup brush. And they fit in nice. They're just going to fit in just like uh, that. And perfect with the cover on. And then we got our good couplers that we want. Okay. But at this point, i got to bring up something. This is one of the... It's like one of the front or rear outriggers. It's that part where I said, make sure you glue, glue the two parts together the correct way. And that guy fits in here just like this. And it's supposed to simulate, the, the, that's an outrigger right there that's supposed to extend out. So they can like put um, heavy blocks and shims under it to stabilize the crane for heavy, heavy duty work. However, if you do this and you glue this in, you will not be putting a screw in that coupler box to put your coupler in. Fortunately, I did not glue these in yet. The screw they have have uh, provided is, yeah, it's awfully big. It's this guy. I'm assuming that's for the coupler box. He's pretty big. And I don't even know if he fits through this hole right here. Barely. Barely he does fit though. So, I mean, it looks like a number two screw, but the head is huge. I don't know why that is. But you can't have that in there when you have these on there. Um, there's no way you can put that head in there. It won't fit. And so, what they have done though, is on that sprue where you cut off those coupler pieces, there's a pin. Where's that pin? Where's that pin? Here he is. Here he is, he's number seven. He's right there, he's number seven. He is number B7, B7. This pin right here, B7, fits through here, this little end hole on the coupler cover and holds the cover in place. And then I take it, this guy keeps him down, keeps him down in place. I'm not sure how you would, uh, might be kind of difficult to if you had a coupler problem. But we don't have to put those in yet. And now that, it's a good thing I didn't put them in because another assembly is this middle outrigger thing. See the middle outriggers right there? It tells you right here. And make sure you read this part. Number 16. When you go back up the page and it says number 12. Cement B6 to assembly set aside until step 16. And down here at step 16, it says do not cement B5 to B9. I'll show you what that means in a minute. This frame is an assembly fixture for this operation. As completed, will be removed later. I'll tell you what that means right now. Okay. So, here are the parts that you do not cement in. Now, when you build... Yeah, it should come out now. Okay, so it will look like there's outriggers. Okay, so you have this assembly right here when you have built that right there. See this down here? This is in step three. When you built this, you're going to end up 
with this. You're not supposed to glue this fixture in place. You're supposed to make it in place and then, but not glue, not glue these sides into where it goes inside the frame here. You're supposed to set it aside. And at the same time, I'm gonna set those other two guys aside. And these screws, I don't know about these screws. We'll see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put them back in the bag for now. Well, there goes your compressor. All right, Dan. We've been using the air compressor a lot to uh, deal with any blue overruns so we don't have any. And yeah, that works great. Okay, so now we have got this part under frame and everything. We're not gonna be putting those outriggers on there yet. As far as I can tell, we can put those on way later. And one reason why I want to do this. Now, I have, I'm gonna show you something on my big train here. This is something that uh, somebody did in this thing called the Keystone Modeler and number 104 Spring 2018 using this crane and they upgraded it a lot so that um you would have working outriggers and that one's quite a bit of work and we have another one of these cranes in the box yet and after we build this one according to instructions i think we might go ahead and do something like that that has more working parts because they had a bunch of other parts and things and but here we are okay and we got to set aside a couple things. There's a, there are a couple parts that I'll put in later because I think these things here should be painted separately, and we still got a couple of covers. And these, these are the grab irons. They're more, half of them are falling apart. We're gonna have to make wire grab irons. I'm pretty sure. But let's keep all the screws and this little thing they call the spider. We got to keep that, and keep that back in the box. That comes later. Our couplers are ready. Hopefully they're uh, the right height. If not, I've got I've got undershanks and I've got overshanks. So we can do that. All right, so this is where we're at. We're, do, we're going along pretty good. And now we're gonna set all that aside and go into boom assembly next.